Hey folks, ah, Eater's uh, in the museum again this morning with all his artifacts and his uh, <laughs> memorabilia and uh, stories. But we won't be uh, won't be telling the story today. Eh? Oh, <laughs> I'm looking at my beard. Eh? I got to clip that. Eh? He cleans up pretty good when he wants. <laughs> Okay, what we're up against this morning is uh, we're at the rear of my limousine and uh, we got these fancy shocks. I'm going to show you in a few. I'm not going to show you how I change the shocks and all this. Here's uh, the shocks there that I bought. And I'm just curious. Detroit. AC Delco, Detroit, Michigan. Yeah, but the, yeah, there's no way this can be made in D. Ah. <laughs> ah. Oh. See that, folks? Right there. Hey, made in Mexico. I guess the sharks are made in Mexico, and the box is made in Detroit, Michigan. <laughs> the shocks already installed on the driver's side. Uh, I'm not doing both today. <laughs> Just uh, and uh, I was waiting on the mailman. Ooh, where is it? Ah. <clears throat> there. There. These are the rubbers. Rubbers for the back. Eh? They're made by uh, Dorman. says in French, Fabrique en Chine. Ah, hey, I'll check on here. I can see some, some wing wang, wing wang writing. <laughs> this here, they cannot make this in America anymore. <laughs> it's gotta come from China. Probably, probably better, <laughs> maybe. But uh, how cheap this is, and this was a, uh, I forget now, at least 70 bucks a piece. I bought two. 70 bucks a piece, <laughs> a chunk of, I don't know what, foam covered with rubber. And they can't even supply <laughs> a metric, they can't even supply a metric bolt. Just imagine that. <laughs> that's how, uh, I guess that's where we are nowadays. So, uh, Ooh, look at this stuff. You don't want to get that on your little fingers, folks. Because this... Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm getting some on everything here. <laughs> yeah, we're going to put a liberal amount. This is this uh, Annie C stuff, eh? Guaranteed to be good. Okay, hang on there, I'll bring it back. I'll go put this on. You don't need you don't need to see me put this on. I'll just bring it back and I'll show you what I did. Cause how to do that for somebody else. Uh, me it's how I save money. <laughs> how I the cheap guy saves money to buy gas for his limousine. Ah, that's what I should do. Put some anti-seize. Everywhere there's surface thrust on my truck, I could put anti-seize. And uh, people that stay away as soon as they, or they touch it, man, they'll remember. <laughs> okay, so stand by there. I'll bring you back and I'll show you what I did. And uh, I won't show you how I did it because that's the easy part. <laughs> <laughs> so hang in there. Back folks. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. A lot of stuff on my hat there. Oh, hang on. I wanted to show you all the different tools. Oops. That's the shock that I took out. I think that's uh, one of those Vetter or whatever. 
it seemed not bad but hey while I'm at it there uh, different tools I used uh, oh <laughs> that's a project a coming project I'll be opening that charger this is a goldie oldie it comes from the farm and uh, it's a charger and a booster eh? and uh, the one of the better ones look all that was left of the remember the hang on I'll show you the other one I'll show you a lot of stuff here, eh, folks? Look at that. Antiquities. Jewels of... Uh, pick them up. and <laughs> This here. See the difference? Hmm? Quite a difference between that and that, eh? <laughs> Anyways. That's neither here nor there now. Oops. I should take a light. Come with me. My little one. <laughs> I'm gonna woo woo woo. There, hang on. These guys can't see nothing, eh? There. Yeah, shock. Can't see much, do ya? <laughs> Anyways, up, up in uh, there, up there somewhere. <laughs> ah, that's the hard part. Is to get in there and with my big fat belly there. There's a bumper and lots of, uh, I'm going to put some anti-seize on top of that bolt. Keep it from rusting. Good, uh, the thing I found, okay, you can see this truck is well lubricated inside. It still rusts a little bit, but it's dirty because it picks up a lot of dirt. The, the oil kind of keeps the dirt on it and, uh, find that it keeps it from rusting a lot. Anyways, hang on. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll turn you around there. Uh, was no story this time, folks. The story is my limousine, how I fix it to save money to keep driving, to <laughs> keep driving the limousine. See, the way, the way I see it, I know I said this before, but the way I see it, by not trading in my truck, I save enough money. I don't care about what price. It. The gas can go to $2. Right now we're getting a deal too, eh? <laughs> Thanks to that Corona stuff there. That beer that people drink from Mexico, eh? <laughs> Anyways, hey, uh, yeah. Uh, save enough money just by keeping the limousine and not trading it in on a better one. A new one, I should say. Better, as long as this is in good shape and I upkeep it. Put a new motor in it, uh, I believe, two years ago. So it's uh, it's in shape, I think. I make sure, uh, like, I can go to my daughter's place any day with this. And uh, I wouldn't even bat an eye or be scared. Uh, anyway, so that's how I save money to pay for the gas on this. So I ride in comfort and, uh, well... I took out the air conditioning <laughs> when I put the other motor in because uh, it was in the way and uh, I felt like in the 50s and the 60s we didn't have no air conditioning you just opened the window when it was hot so that's what I do in my limousine and those that don't want that well they can ride in some other vehicle <laughs> okay that's enough said for today I'm sure I had more to say Gator in the museum in antiquities. <laughs> we salute you all. And we'll see you in the next one. <laughs>